Good afternoon, Bob. Well, good afternoon. How are you this fine day? Okay. Good. And I see that uh, we had a pretty volatile day today. Yes, it was. I mean, gold did very well. Mm-hmm. And, um, and uh, then I just bopped it. Yep. I got a uh, June close, a June trading, still trading. 1,493.30 off 13.50 and silver is 35.15 up 34. And um, I noticed during the week they raised some of the other um Margin requirements on oil, gas, natural gas. I mean, natural gas hasn't done anything. There wasn't any reason whatsoever to to raise that one. I mean, gasoline and and uh, and oil have been pretty volatile. I can understand that, but um, boy, are they catching flack. The um, the letters are coming in by the thousands every day, and I I got a copy of the form letter the SEC is sending out. I haven't seen one from the CFTC, and I don't, I don't know what the exchanges are doing, but they're climbing all over them. The um, On Wednesday, don't forget, the Hong Kong Mercantile Exchange starts trading. And that might make a difference. I think it's uh, interesting and important the way that they attack uh, gold and silver. And the shares as well. They wait until late in the day, and then they'll carry it off when everybody's gone into the outside months, and then when access comes up, they bang it. And that's why it's good for Hong Kong to be trading. Uh, it, it'll keep uh, comics, so to speak, honest. And so we'll, we'll see when they start trading, but it's uh, a big event. Mm. Got a couple of questions here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one, I think that uh, Melody probably got a two from Keith. Oh, uh, we're taking physical possession of stocks. Take the stock away from the manipulators. Or would they short based on fictitious stocks that don't even exist? And uh, Keith, you've answered your own question. In today's markets, unless the SEC is willing to follow their own rules and stop naked shorting, then it does no good to take delivery of securities. They're breaking their own rules. And... um, they're the government, so there's not a lot you can do about it, and unless you want to sue the SEC, which is something you could do if you wanted to. And uh, having possession is uh, an exercise in futility that's expensive and disjointing. Uh, the second question I have here from Darren Uh, it's been a while since you've talked about pending class act and lawsuits against JPM. Is the case still scheduled for October? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. Um, I would assume so. I have seen nothing. Um, 
my guess is they'll desperately try to settle before court because they don't want to go into court because in discovery uh, you're going to find out everything they've been doing and they don't want that so they'll virtually settle at any price and the attorneys on the other side know that they just play a waiting game and then finally um, JPM probably in August or September will say look uh, why don't we try to settle this? I mean, you you people want a billion dollars. Uh, we're, 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 we're willing to go 500 million. Then they start haggling. They pick a number and all the, all of the evidence never gets shown to the public. It remains in camera. And that means that you can't see it. You know, one of the things that real, I find really wrong with the the judicial system is they have the right when they take testimony to exempt it from anybody hearing or seeing it. Now, that's terrible. I mean, you should be able to face whatever evidence prosecution has and you should be able to find out who the party was that made these statements and it goes on all the time they usually do it to, to protect attorneys and uh, those requests are usually not turned down that's a kink in the system a very bad one. Number two, you previously stated that silver would be at least $60 by the end of the year. Given the latest manipulation, it's taken the price down to $35. You still anticipate it to reach 60 I think there's a good chance of that. It all depends on what happens with silver. There's no overhang. JPM and HSBC have not covered any of their positions. So what they're saying here is every time it goes up, we'll short it again. And at the same time, thousands and thousands of complaints are going in to the exchanges and and uh, the SEC and the uh and the uh, CFTC. But I've asked people to write to members of Congress and the Senate because we can get just a couple of senators or congressmen or representatives uh, interested in this. Uh, we could take it a long way. And so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, that's the way you work through the system. That's why I keep on telling people if the system doesn't work, the people who are running the system got a real problem. And um, mm -hmm. we want to solve these problems within the legal framework of the system. But recently they have not allowed us to do that. So we'll see what they do in the future. And number three here... Um, there was no new margin requirements in, announced this week. However, the price went down from 39.50 to 32.50, and now it's around 35. Is there something the government is doing that they were not doing before to manipulate manipulate the price? They haven't. Or why haven't they used this trick before? Well, they have, and. Uh, you know, it's something that we've had to fight, myself at least, since 1968. And up until uh, 1988, it was illegal. And now it's legal. And um, we have to get rid of 
the executive order through Congress acting that allows them to manipulate the markets legally. And if that doesn't happen, uh, it will go on and on. It's very typical of a corporatist fascist government. Uh, they make all the money and you pay all the bills. And he goes on here. Um, and asks, is this their last stand because they're desperate? I don't think it's their last stand, but they are desperate, I'll tell you that. And uh, I'm sure that the um, the people in Washington and New York, they know what's going on. But I think this letter writing campaign is very important. And uh, even if it doesn't go anywhere. Just the representatives and the senators even asking questions about manipulation by the CME or uh, by the government. Uh, the questions alone are going to want to nerve the people involved. Uh, by and large, they're a gutless bunch. And uh, they'll use the legal system to do what they want. But if you face them down, they, they've got real problems. Because uh, if the attorneys can't make it work for them, they're sunk. And uh, they're afraid of the public. If you notice over the last few years, they have uh, off-duty policemen uh, in uniform with dogs. And uh, they go up and down the stairways and elevators and all these big buildings in New York City protecting the people in Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan Chase, etc. from the public. They're afraid the public's going to do something to them. And you wouldn't think that way unless you did something wrong. Well, they do. I mean, you know, people get worn out. You know, they're, they're told, given promises, and, and uh, you know, you're going to become wealthy, and, and people trust these people, and it's just you know, tendency to get a little upset. That reminds me of the Iraqi dinar. Yeah. They've been using the same story for eight years. Yeah. And these suckers them. put their money in it. And they're going to lose it all. Yep. I in know. fact, Karazi said the other day that the country is uh, is ungovernable. And they're upside down again. I don't know what the details are. But um, I certainly wouldn't want my money in dinars. I don't have anything against the people who are doing it. They just lie all the time. I mean, I don't know how many people I've, I've talked to. Uh, they said, please, uh, this is it. They tell me uh, in December uh, it's going to happen. It's going to be this and how many to one and all that. In the past, there's nothing happened. And they make up another excuse. I'm doing it for a very long time. If you got them, get out of them. Yep. You're a fool. You know the old saying, if it's too good to be true. <laughs> There's been financial scams like that. I've had people who have money, of, put invest $10,000, $20,000 with promises being a millionaire, that they're trying to get million in on. They're having a hard time getting the money inside this country, but once the money gets inside the country, they'll be paid. It's like... You know, it's 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 really sad, that, but these things happen, and people are affected. And the, the people who promote these programs, they're very believable, very believable. And um, I haven't, I don't know of one that has actually come true. 
because I'll tell you what, Bob, if I thought if it if I thought it was true, I'd be in the front of the line. <laughs> but uh um and I'd cert- you know, we we'd promote it. But uh, there's a lot of these scams out there and you have to be so very careful. They've just been going on. I mean, they're forever scams. I mean, there's always one floating around. And even more so now with the Internet, because you get these emails, Bob. I don't know if you received them where, you know, here's an attorney from Timbuktu at a relative who died that's worth, you know, $80 million, and they need your help to get the money into the country. And people fall for that, or they wouldn't be there. Hire a plane. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I would worry if I had eighty million dollars. I wouldn't worry about getting it into the, you know. But um, they'll be very careful. I had someone told me they received something from a an attorney who said a long lost relative in England died and left them, you know, twenty million dollars. Call us. It's like you got to be kidding me. Here's a question in from Tim. Do you have any more questions, Bob? No. Has J.P. Morgan and HSBC been covering any of their shorts or adding more shorts over the past couple of weeks while silver has been lower? Well, I know about uh, the shorts uh, later today, uh, but last week they didn't cover any. They just do what they want to do. If the government does nationalize the 401Ks, how do they keep the value of those counts from going down? In order for the government to convert them into bonds, they need to sell the assets in the 401, or would they sell the 401 assets to the Fed um, at NAV? I think they would sell them into the market, and they would have to be very careful because they can make the market go down. And so they would do them, you know, 100 or 1,000 at a time or something like that. It all depends on what's in each one. But they're real serious about this. I can't tell you how I know, but I know. And I think they're going to try it this time. And the excuse will be, well, we can't pay the bills, so we got to do it somehow. But the government's guaranteeing that you're going to get your money back. That's a hook. Yep. They'll probably put Bill Clinton in charge of it <laughs> so he can steal half of it. Hey, you know, and they've been raiding the Social Security Fund for years. I mean, why wouldn't they do it to to, to these accounts? I mean, they're going to take any account they got and take them. No, I think people should get out of them. Yeah, it's plain and And uh, you're going to you're going to look back a couple of years from now and say, "Gee, I wish I'd listened." You just pay the taxes, and there's a penalty of paying. If you don't want to do it, stay in them. Take the risk. But we know they're anxious to get at these things. And I think they do the same thing with the federal pension plan. The only thing is they don't have to get any permission to do that. They just start selling off assets, stocks maybe, and purchasing uh, um these government bonds. I get distracted, so it's up 47 cents. I think somebody's pulling a, uh, a, uh, a reverse on what the government's doing in the market. Who would be doing that? The big hitters. This is still a fairly active market, even though it's late in the day and it's open for another half hour. I wouldn't be surprised if they might close silver up over a dollar the way it's moving. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we had, what, a two and a, almost a two-and-a-half-dollar swing in silver today. And that's the second time this week. Well, maybe that's why... It's moving up right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the reason for that uh, is that there's a fight going on. The government and some other big heavy hitters. Every time the government knocks it down, they run it right back up again. 
And some of these players have got millions of dollars. Oh, what about China? <laughs> well, I don't know how much China is interested in. You know. Oh, they're very. But you have all these companies. very interested in silver. They could all come in here and be buying all these commodities at these lower prices. But there's something certainly that's keeping a from keeping them from going any lower. That's for sure. Someone's in there buying. Well, I think in the gold uh, area. Uh, Mexico, having bought about 100 tons, was important in and of itself. But the finance minister, Karsten, came out yesterday and said, we're going to buy some more. And he's got to be well aware of the fact that uh, Hugo Salinas price for years has tried to get the Mexican government to back the... Um, peso with silver and I think he's going to be successful uh, because of this rise I mean there's a great opportunity for that I mean that would give their currency first world status you know knowing it was say 25% backed by silver and if they buy enough gold they could use that too and uh they have over ninety million dollars worth of U.S. Treasuries. I had a conversation um, probably about five years ago with um, two senators and two congressmen, uh, two uh, members of the Assembly, deputies. And I told him, I said, you know, it's the best thing you can do. I said, do you really get a hard currency? Everybody want to do business with you. Hmm. Nothing ever came of it. And three of the four are still in office. But anyway. Um, oh, a, we're down at the bottom of the hour. We're going to take a short break here and we'll return. Thank you for joining us. Years ahead of the dominant media, FirstAmendmentRadio.com and FirstAmendmentRadio.net, around the world and on satellite. Record budget deficits, bankruptcies galore, and the U.S. dollar is at an all-time low. With today's gloomy economic outlook, safe investments are often hard to find. For over a decade, Melody Cedarstrom at Discount Gold and Silver Trading Company has been helping people secure their future by investing in the precious metals. Melody has the honesty, integrity, and experience that is often lacking in the precious metals business. Let her put it to work for you. Call Discount Gold and Silver Trading at 800-375-4188. That's 800-375-4188. Hi, Nicholas here. I used to lug those big jugs to the market to fill with water from those coin-operated filter machines, 25 cents a gallon or 5 gallons for a buck. I used to. Then I got the big Berkey. Now I saved my back and hundreds of dollars, too. I was paying $600 for the same 3,000 gallons of water that a pair of black Berkey filters will provide from my own tap for only $99. This means that your Berkey water system will entirely pay for itself with only 1,500 gallons of use. And then you will still have 1,500 gallons left before you need to replace the filters. Do the math. Stop throwing your money away on bottled water and filter dispensers that may or may not be delivering as promised. For a limited time, First Amendment Radio is offering 10% off on the most popular Berkey water systems. Visit the shopping page at FirstAmendmentRadio.com or call us at 559-781-3773 for more information. Leave your name and address and we'll send you this special offer. Do it now. First Amendment Radio is an authorized distributor of Berkey products. The Greatest Prophecy DVD from Cross the Border Productions. Embrace the little known but greatest prophecy given by the great high priest, the 
pre-incarnate Messiah reveals God's once secret plan for mankind. Believe it. Behold, the end times in Daniel chapter 2, because the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. It is the key to prophecy future. Comprehend the seven-year great tribulation deception. Be not deceived. Understand the great prophecy delusion because if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. Be forewarned. America in prophecy exposed for all to see. The mark of the beast. No, it's not a biochip. A much better and more secure technology is already here and you are already using it. Two copies, one for you and one for you to give away when you send a support donation of $25 to First Amendment Radio. Use the chip-in event on our website or send $25 cash to First Amendment Radio, 139 East Tulare Avenue, Tulare, California, 93274. Make copies and give them away. Send $25 cash for two copies of the Greatest Prophecy DVD. That's First Amendment Radio, 139 East Tulare Avenue, Tulare, T-U-L-A-R-E, California, 93274. A wise man is forewarned and prepares for the time to come. The Greatest Prophecy DVD. Hear it first on FirstAmendmentRadio.com and FirstAmendmentRadio.net, around the world and on satellite. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. You're listening to Financial Survival, brought to you by Discount Gold and Silver Trading. I'm Melody Cedarstrom. Our telephone number, 1-800-375-4188. That's 800-375-4188 for all your gold and silver coin needs here at Discount Gold and Silver. If you would like a complimentary issue for the um, for yourself and share it, <laughs> you caught that. You've been, you're listening. <laughs> We're not perfect. Three seven five forty one eighty eight for your complimentary issue. And Bob, please tell us about the international forecaster, please. <laughs> forecast is about business, finance, economic, social, and political issues all over the world. Uh, we publish by email on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Runs around forty pages each time. We have a hard copy. For those who are not on the Internet, that goes out uh, twice a month. And everything you need to know every week is in that publication. You get a free introductory copy by going to the theinternationalforecaster.com. The International, F-O-R-E-C-A-S-T-E-R.com. You can go to www.int. F O R E C A S T E R dot com. That's intforecaster dot com. You can get a copy there. If you have a question, we answer everybody. And if you'd like either copy, or if you'd like the uh, gold and silver share recommendations we're we're making, uh, we'll send them out to you. And all you have to do is email Bob B O B at intforecaster.com Bob at intforecaster.com or you can call oh, I want toll free you, I wanted you to hear I wanted you to say it <laughs> 800-375-4188 that's 800-375-4188 toll free Yes, folks, if you're looking for a complimentary issue to the International Forecaster, please give us a call. And don't forget your subscriptions. Give us a call at 800-375-4188. Your gold and silver coins, um, things are pretty much as they were on Wednesday. 
as far as availability on 